안녕하세요. 오늘은 이것을 읽을게. 이것을 읽을 것이다. Andy and the Lion. It was a bright day with just enough wind to float or flame. Andy stared down to the library to get a book about lions. He took the book home and read and read. Andy read all through supper and. He read all evening and just before bedtime. His grandfather told him some tell stories about hunting lions in Africa. Every story ended with and that I give him both brains. Then that night at the end. Dreamed all night long that he was in Africa hunting lions. When at last morning came, Andy woke up. The sun was looking in at the window, and Prince was tucked at the bed close. The lions had left, but Andy kept thinking about them. Andy. The lions on the back porch, and his father had had to remember remind him to wash behind his ear. Andy was still thinking lions afraid breakfast when his mother gave his hair a finally brush and and he started off to school. Part two. Andy walked along. Swinging the bo- his books, and whistled a tune as he came to the turn in the road. The- he noticed something stick out from behind the big rock. Just at the behind, it looked very quite quite queer. So Andy and Prince crept up quietly. To invade, it moved. It was a lion at this moment, and he thought he better be going. And the lion thought to so too. They ran and ran around the rock, which every way that Andy ran, there was the lion. Which every way the lion ran, there was Andy. At last, they both stopped for a breath. The lion held out his paw to show Andy what was the matter. It was a big thorn stuck in his paw, but Andy had an idea. He told the lion to just be painted, and they have that thorn out in no time. Written. Andy always carried his pliers in the back pocket of his overalls. He took them out and got a tight grip. Then Andy breaks breaks one foot against the lion's paw and pulled with all his might until the thorn. Came out. The grand, the grandly lion licked Andy's face to show how pleased he was. But it was time to part, so they waved goodbye. Andy went on to school, and the lion went off about the business of being a lion. Part three. In the spring, the circus came to town. <laughs> of course, Andy went to the went. He went to see the famous lion act, right in the middle of the act. The biggest lion <laughs> jumped out of the high steel cage and with a terribly roar, terrible roar, 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 decides. Strides toward the people. They ran for their lives, and it was scrambled. Andy found himself 
walked right in the lion's path. He thought his last moment had come, but then, who should it be but Andy's own lion? They recognized each other and danced for joy when the crowd came back ready to fight the lion in the camp kitchen. Andy still stood in front of the lion and shouted to the angry people, Do not hurt this lion! He's a friend of mine! Then the next day, Andy led the lion and all the people in the garden grand prayed down Main Street to the city hall near the Mer 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 parents Andy with a middle from brave but brave and the lion was very much pleased and the next day Andy took the book back to the library. Yeah.